by the in-game leader. The note that in the space of Amanek, it means that the roles change up. In the absence of him, Jax, of course, takes middle, and Nico joins Hunter at A. That's the CT side. We're starting on the T, which next didn't get to really show off in their uh, last Vertigo showing. So this is where their strength lies. Let's see if they can flex it on us here. And look how much util we are rocking. Chad, that's three smokes, two mollies. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very heavy set B piece, but they need to get the boost Ooh. working first. And we've heard a couple of teams making some boo-boos on those sound cues, but Hunter's going to get up. Lecro's ready with a flash to help out AZ here. So once this comes in, AZ might get a chance to re-peek and get a couple of headshots. Nades are being lined up. Nikon Hunter ready to cascade over the top of that cardboard wall. Good timing on that flash. Nico's completely blinded, but Hunter keeps his teammates safe. Burning a little. Molly's good. Keeping them at bay. And look at the rotate. There's so many CTs here. And the trades do go back and forth. Nico hungry for the USP. Gets himself a fresh clip. He's ready now as the bomb goes down. Thanks to Nexa. And Cajun trying to mantle onto construction. Takes a peppering. Another chance for Nico. This time not quite. Nexa has the one push. And Nico responsible for the other. Hard shots left eye. Three Danes trying to retake. They have a smoke kit on Gade. So he's been playing very passive. He doesn't want to go down without a chance to drop that smoke. And he's trying to try a line it up now. Finally, Nexa reveals himself and some good shots. <laughs> good close from the in-game leader there. Nexa, three huge kills to stop them at the Jenny's position. And that's going to be the pissed around on the board for G2. Now, North are a team who they do love a bit of a force buy. And you can see Gade locking in that deagle. Nades behind it. Want to keep this one competitive early. Don't want to allow G2 to stretch their legs too far. And this is a map where you can definitely make them uncomfortable in these type of rounds just due to the lack of prowess or at least the lack of time that they've had to practice with this five, with the five including Jax in the server today. I'm excited for today's game, actually. I mean, not only do I enjoy Vertigo, I'll be interested to see if we get a competitive one. I think the T side start definitely does almost guarantee that we're going to be seeing a lot more rounds than we did the first time around. And North as well. Let's see if their defense will, will hold water. Yeah, I want to see a bit more out of MSL on that AWP, obviously. AWP it's a three leader. mid stack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. A little Quite tiered as well. Yeah, I like it. Give us the different angle rush when they come around the corner, or MC, or Bastion, or whoever's, or driving. whoever's driving right now. Yeah, so you come, around, you come the around the corner. Ah, one, and then suddenly bad boy swings. and yeah. oh, okay. Oh. It's filthy looking. Yep, don't want to be part of that. And fortunately, looks like GT won't. Some util deployed and just the initial double and aid actually saving the Molotovs. I like that. That's a much easier way to clear off that position. If a smoke goes down, we know that there's likely a flash coming through and multiple CTs rearing their ugly heads. And now they can tailor up, but the flash, they're going to push, they're going to fight. This is it. MSL wants to bring the fight to them. He does so much damage. 99 to Jax, but it's Kenny S's double with the MAC-10 solving problems. Jax, speak of the devil, he has gone down to an aid of AZ and good damage continues. Nexa and Kenny catching some flak. Not out of the woods yet, G2. They're lining up some smokes. Do they go on this or do they just run back to be heroic style? Well, they don't have to worry about getting naded off the plant now, but they still need to get that site access. So the second wall of smokes is good. The flash is better. And, ooh, Lecro shot's a little bit shy there. This comes down to Ace to see if he can find anything at all, but it looks like the smoke wall is too good. Oh, yeah, wait. I say that. Gates caught one. Kenny threw the smoke. Next is getting the bomb down and a flash to deter them. Uh-oh, they're faded. As Nexus trying to get away, and he takes another bit of damage. They're going to hunt him down. He tucks into short. Doesn't want to be the first contact now. Crossfire established. North making this awkward, but they don't have a kit. They need frags or a pressure on the defuse pretty soon. That's it. Gade forces the eyes to take a look, and it's Nico pops the head off of Nalekro, pushing Oof. his AZ. Finds one and looking for a clean headshot. Doesn't get Nico just yet. And really running out of time now, despite Gade finding one and a second. He's run out of time, and he's run out of health. Looking to evade the bomb blast in short, and it might actually work out. Maybe even catching it. Nico. Here we go. Good damage. He'll take that. He'll even save the AK. Unless it gets blown oh. off the edge. Oh, no, I think oh, it's I did. On. I think it got blown off. Oh. He's got a UMP instead. <laughs> the time was an issue there. You saw he wanted to run for it. He wanted to pick yeah. it up. But knowing that if he was too close to that bomb blast, he would have gone down with the ship. And carrying at least a UMP across means that maybe... In round number three, they can stay a little bit deadly, but we've had this discussion plenty of times before, and it's the CT side cannot risk going for multiple force buys. On the T half, if they had the same situation, they got all five players down, they were able to keep the round very, very costly, they might consider keeping that pressure on, keeping that foot on the throat, but the I CTs see. can't do the same thing. They just have to upgrade into a couple of light pistols, MSL onto that USP to make sure he gets enough money for the AWP, and it's going to be the same stack again.
So just while they're doing the stack, I think it's really interesting the way Hunter, so the the Hunter scaffolding presence, he's it's always been a strong suit of his. And yes. You see the way he works on it. It's just like constantly just taking little nuggets of information. And then once he's got it, he'll hold on to it. That's enough for him now. Then continuing to edge forward, knows he's up against unarmored or weakened by. He has a bit more flair and a bit more pep in his step. Double nades again. It seems G2 have decided that's a better option. And Chad got the double thumbs up on that one. They've stacked up. Four CTs are here. And Kenny finding an opener. I think that's straight through the wall. Cajun just getting rocked. And he's even hit MSL up nicely. This is a solid line. They're pushing. This mid-round aggression, it didn't work out on the Deagle. And it might work out a bit better now. Gate has dug him out of trouble. That was the short presence. Now, he can deny that and even push it. He's gone for it. Look at this. No one was ready. Kenny reacts in time. Nico fills the gap as they progress, and it is only just the unarmored Deagle and a P250, so this round will start to calm and cool. Ooh, Jack's almost in trouble there, but the MAC-10 will bail him out. AZ goes down, it's just Lepro to survive. The follow-up is that's two kills for Jax, gets 1,200 in the bank balance, and G2, they're looking clean-ish. You know, there's a couple of details there that almost would have seen the round falling apart, but they mopped it up just in the final moments. That flank from Gade would have been the main one. And you love to get a nice little wall bank kill like that, especially against unarmored opponents, just shredding them through. Here's the final two from Jackson. Now we get underway with the business end of this. Now, what kind of approach do G2 want to go for? They have the firepower and the individuals to play some quick rounds, to play some fast counter-strike. Isn't that the question? We've gone for it, and next are taking the head off Cajun. We were talking about quick stuff. That yeah. is as quick as you like. Oh dear, Cajun B, completely nullified. An early smoke pulled out of their B defender as well. Lecro's only working with flashbangs. 90 seconds still on the clock. That's a loss. That's a big fat L to be taking early into the fourth round. And this is the first buy as well. First chance for North to voice their concerns. I like this here though. One of the details that I'm enjoying from teams who are putting more pressure on mid at B in the early stages is the CTs have to dump a truckload of utility. Smoke sandbag, interesting. I wonder if that's intentional there. It looked like a lineup, yeah. This covers them off a little bit. Players who are holding now on higher elevations will not be able to see That's down. Cool. I haven't seen that one before. It also means that the feet will be visible of players who are more aggressive towards that sandbag. So this is a nice little change up out of G2. And then when Kenny's on an AWP, he could be holding scaff while you do that progress off that smoke. You've got it all locked down. And Gade does hear the pins being pulled and it's Nexa who actually wins that duel. That's MAC-10 VM4. Gade flashed off. Oh my goodness. Good damage again from the SMG. They've done so much to AZ already. And a flawless T start here from G2. As I say that MSL puts a smudge on the record. He takes down the SMG, but it was only the SMG. G2 re retreating very fast after that plan. They want to hunt him down. Yeah, take this AWP away. Make sure that MSL cannot reinvest or keep that and have a bit of a threat within the following. And he's going to get cut off. He cannot rotate through middle right now. Nico's in the ladder room. This is going to be very difficult for MSL to, first of all, consider this duel and second of all, win it. Round the corner, AWP barrel shows. Nico takes him down and the AWP, well, they don't even want it. Oh, oh, yes, they do. I was going to say, maybe they're going to operate with rifles here. And keep Kenny down to an AK-47, but that can be thrown across. Kenny can get his favorite weapon. And G2 can continue this march. It's also forced out of timeout. This is the opening right there. That was so quick. That was just all it was is a pop flash on Cajun just trying to take some early space B. Really got caught out by the pace of that Mac 10 there. Having a couple of skybox issues here early, Alex. Just thought I'd uh, oh, make to know. sure okay. that one's in your mind. It's connecting me shouting. to uh, the wrong game, the Invictus versus D13 game, which we did have going down for IM Beijing within our third region. We've got Asia and also Oceania. Would be the fourth, I suppose. Oceania. Yeah. Australia. Yeah, Australia. Well, uh, just taking a quick look at the scoreboard, four rounds in. North have KGB down the bottom of the barrel. Now, it is early stages. We won't be jumping up and down. You can see MSL and Lecro only have one killer piece as well. AZ with two. But uh, Cajun... Cajun and Gade. They're definitely the ones that eyes are, eyes are on to, to, a bit more out of them. to recover. Neither have been able to kind of fill the role necessary and required of them. That's perfect, though. The flash and execution. They might even catch Jax. He manages to evade the hunt. Wow, flashbang dropping off, taking a bit of fall damage. But they recover an AK. Now, this shouldn't be the beginning of the end, but it could very well could be. Look at this. They're stacking on A. Hunter could walk into the headshot box. Oh, this is nice. MSL goes looking. Could have been the double, but AZ trades nicely. And again, the numbers advantage maintained. Kenny's working up. He could catch a crossing. Gade. Oh, the smoke confirms it. Kenny tucking in. He wants to punish here, and they've boosted up. 
And that sniper's deck. Kenny doesn't miss. He's even got a nade for Gade's position. They back away. No damage off the HE. And they've got so much time here. What's Jax's bomb position? Just so I can understand our silly map. That's the ramp. Okay. All right. Well, covering off the flank right now, they have plenty of time for this. Just under a minute remaining. And they have a lot of utility. So the smoke wall can come up. More damage done now. Molotovs to hold them at bay. And flashes are good. But Gabe wants to search. Gabe wants to find a frag. And he needs to do so. Lecro does have a smoke. Ooh, a tag onto Gade, just into the box, but lowering his HP does mean this Jules should be easy. They get so hungry for the finish. He pulled out a nade, trying to enable the plant. And now being pushed on, AZ gets it. What a turnaround from North. Off the back of a timeout, that was just Eagles and Armor, and they get themselves not only the round, the first on the board, but some good fragging as well. Gade, important stuff from him. AZ trading nicely onto MSL. And that was a huge turnaround. Yeah, we just mentioned Cajun and Gade, both of which getting a kill within that pistol upgrade round. So big stuff from them and necessary stuff here is North. They have a real chance to rattle G2, especially on this map. If you want to see a three map, if you want this to go the distance, or you are a North fan and you want to see them pick it up, map number one, Vertigo, hugely important. And again, over towards B with the early pressure. Flubbed Molly there from Jax. It's not going to land to push AZ back. It would have been perfect. And now it's just wasted utility. MSL with the AWP over towards a ramp now from the scaffolding position, peering on down, supporting Gade, who's up close and personal. will drop another smoke and bails out. The CT's now trying to re-aggress. Molly's of their own, pushing forward. They're looking for frags. Whoa, where did Dax's health just go? He burns to a crisp. 100 to zero from AC's Molly. That is not how you want to go down. Crucial opening. That's two in a row now. AZ triple kill in the round prior. Now he's opened up with the first blood to convert the second in two consecutive rounds as well from North. Digging him out is Hunter, trying to drop as much A utility as he can, trying to force some of this back. He's taking a lot of risks here. He has managed to force MSL off the line just through presence and utility. And they want to go for the B finish. A boost, quietly boosting. A crow jiggles, he'll drop a smoke as soon as he feels under pressure. As soon as Nexa throws his. Actually, it's AZ that's got one lined up. That's it. Smoke. Underhanded. And still more where that came from. 30 seconds. He actually pushes on the smoke. This is nice from Lecro. They've passed him. He could punish a lot here. Surely they're anticipating. They don't look knife out, Kenny. Oh, no. Nexa doesn't get checked. He has to hit the shot. Why is he taking so long? Nexa doesn't finish it. Lecro finally goes down, but with 15 seconds, there's enough fragging going down on the site. Cajun caught them on the advance. There's a smoke on default. He's got no time. Does clean up onto Cajun. No time to plant now. Three seconds, two seconds, recovers the Orpheus oh, jumping straight time. into MSL after time. Brutality. Ouch, 1650 is the number he's locked into. That is a very punishing round back to back from North. Yeah, good stuff as North is starting to get some wind under their sails right now. Might even have an opportunity to put a third on the board if G2 opt for a bit of an eco here. And this is Jax, just nowhere to stand, nowhere to hide. Getting absolutely melted there. Fantastic re-aggression from North to kick things off. And there's the real punishment. MSL taking away not only the AWP that was being saved for Kenny, but the loss bonus does not get a chance to build for Nexa, and that is a real problem. That's lovely stuff. They've actually gone for the eco. I thought that we may have seen them go for an all-in to level out the cash, but with what they're holding on over, maybe that AWP from Nico can be dropped for Kenny. They can get a buyback on the board. We're already underway in round number seven. Very forward stance over towards the forklift room from Gade there. And now... Taking middle will be Nico and Jax with two big deagles. Need to find some heads though. Boosted on up. Nobody's home. But being diligent about this. And our third deagle for Hunter. So those are the three big aim stars on the G2 squadron. They can hit a head or two. This one could fall out of control for North. Uneasy headshots ahead. The boost box may be a chance. Cajun would have to adjust quickly. Oh, and Nico blows his head off from the boost. Good start. That is exactly what you were talking about. And you can see how that's caused a fluster of util from the B defender. Is he tucking back? They'll park Jax in middle and go somewhere else. Okay. G2 in pursuit of glory here. Lecro's pushed up the B steps. You'll be hearing this. He's got a lot of presence coming his way. He doesn't choose to drop his util, which is interesting. And so they'll use two Glocks and then a Nico Deagle to trade. Looking for the info, a wide swing or a jump necessary. 
It's a double, triple, quadra kill coming in from Lecro. Just like that. Jax, maybe he can find himself a second. He did open up the round and... Oh, baby, that's MSL gone. Now he picks up an M4. He's anticipating the AZ flank. Could be another here. Oh, he's in the off angle. That's lovely. No way Jax was anticipating that one. So good damage. Lecro just gets a full clean up. A nice little eco 4K. They weren't able to scavenge back the AWP for MSL, so one's had to be dropped over. No problems, but it could have been a bit of extra money in the bank balance that North didn't need to spend. So G2 doing a good job of taking away the most prized possession from North in that round just with three deals upgraded. They'll buy back. Got a question in from Layson. He, he asked, question for the boys, is it possible for G2 to swap and jiggle between fifth and sixth player within the same event? The answer is take a look at Vitality. Yeah, they are more than allowed to do it from day to day. They have to submit their roster officially eight hours before, but that's only for map number one. If they wanted to change between maps, that's even possible. They cannot change on a map. Once you've started a, uh, started a map with a player, you have to continue through. But let's say that they didn't like how Vertigo was going. If they get to Dust2 and they wanted to bring Amanek in, they could. But that doesn't appear to be the game plan from G2. Just yeah, the so other day, we saw them play with Jax the whole way through. Yeah, we've seen uh, from, from Malek, they're actually using on a, it seems to be a tournament by tournament basis and then working out which one fits, suits them best. You also mentioned chemistry is a big factor. Yeah. Amanek seemed to fit the role quite well. He flourished in Blast, where they topped the group just the other week. Uh, things haven't gone swimmingly for G2 so far, but it's still early stages. Go on, Lecro. Similar aggression. This time it works again. Taking down Nexa before he falls. That's mission accomplished. Izzy wants more. What a madman. And that is a risk. It's not going to be rewarded. He's gone down on B, which means that they're oh. very scattered. Kenny with a miss, punished, and even a deep smoke. The gate has denied the A rotate. Huge frag. And then that advantage that G2 had has been lost in a single missed orb shot. Well, they have two choices now. Accelerate to the other bomb site, which is where North have two players of... It's very, very close. Cajuns come over, taking space. MSL's pushed up towards middle, and Gade's locked down over towards A. This boost right here, they're going to jump straight into Cajun. Yeah, I don't know if who this favors. Surely, if Cajun was to mantle, he'd get the advantage here. Well, timing. Oh, the sound cue. He just oh. him. Oh, dear. Dropping the smoke. They're turning this one on its head. It was four versus three. Now those three still stand. Only against the duo, Nico and Jax. An unlikely pairing. 40 seconds. Bombs on Not the back of Jax. And not again, dude. He, he got us 100 to zero on B-stairs last time. Stay away from the mollies, mate. Turn up the game sound, bro. He's lining it up. He'll be smoking them into B. But the 30 seconds and MSL's holding the perfect line. Bit discombobulated as Nico goes down. The smoke does land towards, uh, I believe that was further deep gens. Oh, nearly finding MSL and he's running out of time now. So paranoid about the site. They are playing passive enough. He's evaded the nade. Oh, they've managed to mantle through. Running out of bullets in time. Running and fake down. and trying to find one oh. more headshot. Does hit a nice one. Forces MSL to drop his orb and his teammates to scavenge. But that is four consecutive for now from North's defense. Started very strong for G2 and you can see what's happened to their finances here. A little sketchy ever since we saw that death after time from Nexa. This here, the re-aggression uh, was key. Gade won them that round with that impact nice. and completely taking all the space you away. You do have to stare at the floor if you're, if you're boosted there. Yeah. As soon as you rear your head, you will be spotted first. You need to be very careful about how you play that position. Now, one of the key notes that you'll see throughout G2 playing is just how good Jax, Hunter, and Nico's aim is. But if they're not getting greedy with heads-up jewels or they're being forced and held back by utility, you don't get to see that. Right now, pressure towards B. AZ's taking a lot of space, made a lot of footsteps. Lecro's there to help and assist. Another flash from him. AZ wants to go forward. This is problems. Oh, it could have been so much worse than it is as Lecro hits another headshot. He's got nades where that came from. Hunter wants to trade and he's so damn low. Lecro catches a little more, down to 14. And G2 just gathering at stairs, ready for a barrage of util. North are very active on the CT side. They continue to pressure to not lose control. They've done this a couple of times over towards B. We're just highlighting gate over towards A, and now they've gone for this boost again. It's been found out a few times, and the smoke's going to hold it at bay. They will be able to take control of the cutout area. Some nades for Nexa as well, so they could sell a bit of a hit onto the side. This might even be a double pump. You see an early utility coming out, Molotov and deep smoke. I think that smoke is missed. 
Nexa now has the second wave to throw and they can reinitiate onto the bomb site. Hunter fluffing the jump. Those sound cues, not sure if they were heard just yet, but needs to consider the timing they want to go for. 30 seconds, smokes to fly in. And it's Cajun on quad. Jax is staring at it. The molly will force him out. And he goes left side. It's good. It stops Jax's punish. Cajun lives to tell the tale. He can give this another go. 20 seconds. Jax has hit the crucial headshot. There's a chance now. MSL is denying at least one. They're so low. Hunter has a real chance. He has to push on this. MSL doesn't punish the plant. They let it go down and Hunter through the smoke catches one. There's more where that came from. It's Gade saving them. Nexa with only a Desert oh. Eagle, but the crucial headshot hit. Lecro's low, spotted. Oh, and he gives it to him. Lecro pulls the trigger and Nexa just needed to hold fast. It will be another five now for North in consecutive fashion. Yeah, they're really bouncing back into this North. And that one got very, very dicey. If Hunter picked the other target, didn't put the crosshair on Gade, he would have finished off Lecro. Then maybe Nexa gets the one dig regardless and wins them the round, but just poised from Lecro here. He had impact at the start of the round with the aggression and then finishing things off in a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a close one, but it's still a W. It's still a round on the board as North now are looking very, very good. The plant, it will come into the bank balance of G2, giving them, oh, look, we got someone doing a... Uh, oh, damn, on the, on the rings. rings. Doing dips on the rings. That ain't easy. Okay, G2 have bought on in. Kenny has the AWP. No B aggression to deal with this time as Gates actually getting up close and personal with the org, not using it at range, actually wants to fight. Armor penetration of that, if he gets close enough. This is the sandbag smoke again. Seems quite easy to throw. It's just Damn, the jump throw after the, the quick little lineup. But that's not going to do a lot. It, oh, it's actually fallen off as well. Hmm. Not ideal. And MSL still holds his line, so I imagine that's Kenny's responsibility here. Got to swing together here. Multiple targets and MSL plucks one. Gate gets the other and it's a massacre. Oh, the multi-kill from Gate. He gets three as they swing into a ramp. And he needs an ace. Yeah, an ace clutch. North to adopt a very passive stance as the flank to lock the door behind him is there. And that's a good shot from Kenny. If he can finish it off with the Molotov. AZ takes the fight before it even blossoms. There was a smoke to defend him. <laughs> That was clean. Good teamwork there. Ready to put that molly out was Cajun. So surviving. I like that Daisy just took that fight, man. Yeah, take some balls Open to go for that. But if they just allowed Kenny to will down and take all of those jewels, then he probably wins a round like that. I, I like the fact that AZ wasn't scared. And that's a key right now for North on their CT side. They want to fight. And I'm enjoying this. They're going up against G2, who a lot of people would say have Wait, a truckload even of Even after losing Cajun on the first weapon round to so that B stairs aggression, they've been throwing it in time after time. The flashes, the double up on B stairs, AZ and Lecro. Cajun's in connector this time. He's been forced off and they've got so much pace. Good grief, they're fast. Cajun has to adapt. He's tucking in now. They have CT already accessed. And now the flank on two way. I love the amount of space they've managed to find here. But G2, this is only the first step, but it's getting a bit bumpy on the road. It's a good frag from Cajun. AZ finds one of his own and Kenny, perhaps next, yeah, puts his head in the vice. This has been handled despite some lovely map control. Very early, the utility getting them there. They just get met by AZ and met by force. Multi-kill from AZ and Cajun there. Seven to four. That's seven in a row. North just running away now since G2 fell. Weapons are plenty. Max loss, obviously. And an org still for Gate. I've been enjoying seeing that. And oh, it looks it's like Skybox quick, is guys. operational. Yeah, this is how they took middle quite fast. So you can see the flashes to push Cajun off, the Molotov to hold him at bay, and it was just flashes. There wasn't a lot to it. wasn't too many smokes. They took the space. Something that's going to be difficult to replicate with rifles, but it was simple flashes, and you can just see how this was dealt with. Tucked in on the sites, not fighting one at a time. Cajun and AZ both fighting towards spawn. Gade and MSL both turning their attention towards middle, and they did this as a team here north. So continuing to mop up and continuing to charge forward in this one. Love like Crow's still staring at his smoke just in case there's any uh, rat games at play. What do you think of the Habbo Hotel camera? I actually like it. Yeah, I, they told me that Trace was playing around with that a little bit, so I'm going to see if we can bring this in more. It's, cool. it's, it's less, uh, you don't need to change the camera angle so much. It doesn't work on all the maps. You can see what's going on. Yeah. I mean, this, this uh, that was what Anders, when he was describing Skybox, when it was just a thing in his mind. Isometric, right? It was like, yeah, yeah isometric, kind of Counter-Strike top-down. And so that's what it, yeah, that's my vision. Seven on in on the trot right now for North. It is looking very, very good. They go for a quick 3A ramp contest. This is going to be interesting. Kenny's holding the crane push, but will be smoked off. Oh, and that's just such an easy kill. A flash. They've definitely booked Hunter. Kenny finds a crucial trade. 
onto the re-aggressing, re-aggressing Gade. <sighs> G2, really struggling to get much room here. Nico's going to do his very best out middle, all on his lonesome. Maybe he's found a gap here, but Cajun mantling on up over the construction position. This is going to come down to timing. How inquisitive does he want to be? Mm -hmm. AK-47 is favored in this fight, but that means Nico's crosshair placement needs to be picture perfect. Tip of his head. <sighs> wow. Long angle from Cajun. Look at MSL, that's an uncharacteristic miss. It's hard one, just as he passed, passed the tarp, reveals that short has been conceded. This is where it gets janky though, Alex. This is where it gets really difficult for the CTs to defend. If they play retake, they don't have too much utility. They need to set up a boost. You're right, there's not much. They've got a nade and a molly to stop it, but here's the boost over the smokes. Looking to punish, they evade the first, and he pulls oh. the trigger again, MSL. Running out of opportunities now, the bomb is already going down. Couple misses, nothing finding any connection. And now it's gonna be a tough retake. Good tag, just as the bottom of Jax as he tucked into short, but now they're tucked in for the after plan. This is gonna be a tough retake. They have a smoke, they have the kits. They've gotta find some frags here. Flash for short, who's gonna aggress? A smoke for short from Lecro. This is shaping up nicely, but they've gotta knock Nico and Kenny off of their peaks. That's the first flash. Bomb's not a dream plan. Smoke for it as well. This is awkward now. MSL's holding. They're holding. Diffusing. AZ's got it. Diffusing. Oh no, that's a nasty way to go. Diffused in the smoke. A slightly awkward plan. Wasn't perfect for the sandbags hold. Oh, they've gone for something a little bit different so they don't get naded while the bomb's going down. But by doing so, they didn't play their post plan very well whatsoever. This is how Kenny was able to get a trade over towards A. How but look at was. this. Yeah. There's no way AZ's going down here. Even a wall bang is unlikely to do any damage whatsoever. Necro had short. It's brutal. Yeah, just very poorly played by g2 there and well taken advantage of by north you see something like that it's simple the smoke late is great and now that's eight eight in a row g2 struggling we predicted they were going to have a tough time we've yeah. pointed out the fact that this is uncomfortable territory and next in the pre-game interview even mentioned positions have been swapped around since they ventured into this with amanek so chopping and changing it's not working for g2 right now all the more impressive Imagine to... topping your group by beating Astralis in Blast and the next week going out to North in the lower bracket, not winning a game. Don't want to, but it's a, a cruel reality that could be manifesting tonight. North, no slouch. This is a, a punish of the developing map pool of G2. Also, of course, punishing this at the moment, a, a, a moment of flux for G2. The fact that they have still basically hamstrung themselves in the sense of repositioning themselves after a success. Definitely perhaps weighing on their minds. Definitely perhaps that's the commentator uh, <laughs> fence. I like to sit on that one. We love it. Definitely perhaps for sure might, might be an issue. We never lose. We never win. No, no, no. And we get to sit in the middle. Doesn't get better for us. But G2, they've been able to get a ramp control. So this is looking good for a set piece onto the side. The smokes are good. There's Molotovs as well to help them push back. And North are postured this time for a retake. Check out all the grenades they're holding onto this time round. Good shot. Jumps off the boost. He's already hit his first. Jack's these nades. Low. And yeah, as soon... Oh my lord, he's got 12 HP. Jack stands and look at the health. Nico pays a heavy price for his. They're trying to get a more default plant here and it can't be stopped. Kenny though just peeks in. He was left die and Jax has finished off by the nade of AZ. This retake already spells trouble. Oh dear, Nex is the only one with health. He's holding for... That headshot fight, Hunter to swing off of it. They don't have a smoke unless it's easy to drop it. He's got it and the kit. Dropping it short this time. It's a better plant. They can hold ramp. Or can they? The molly makes things different. Heading onto the site now. Time sensitive. Just need to knock off the diffuser now. Important frag. They're onto the site. Need to find AZ. AZ's gone and that should be the round nearly. A full team wipe. Nico gets away. The only one. 5 HP and an AWP recovered. And G2 finally breaking North. It took them eight rounds. Jeez, Louise, I don't know how North let that one fall. I thought that looked perfect. The utility usage was great, but the mistiming and allowing the bomb to get planted seemed to be the undoing there. That retake, you can just see how messy it gets over towards that ramp position. Nico to kick things off on a cage and then to finish things off back over towards the ramp position. So good stuff from Nico.
good impact from him being felled. And North are actually going to take a timeout. You mentioned broken in terms of the spree of rounds, but broken in terms of the bank balance as well is something to consider for North. A few of their members not operating with a lot as they might need to talk this one through. If they force by at this stage of the game, we're only operating with two more rounds and it makes sense. Min loss for North here. That'll only have been the 1400, 1900 in the next and yeah, operating with very, very little for the final round of the first half here. MSL has been able to get an AWP, a Famous for AZ. Lecro and Cajun rocking the Deagles and Gade onto that org where he found success earlier close towards the A ramp. But this is G2's chance to tie things up. Well, get as close as possible to tying things up. See the smoke, very effective at denying that crane peak. You can see MSL nice. does have to expose himself, but he still does punish Kenny despite the left eye disadvantage. Look what that's done to him. Falling as far back to evade the nade, and now look at the one-two punch. Next is the one to profit, though. Thank God he was with Jax, otherwise that's an AK falling into enemy hands. Starting to stack. They know they're at a disadvantage. There is only three. They have to pull their resources mid the threat. Oh, MSL searching here. This is the round. Nico. Nade in his hand. Oh, oh MSL. Miss. You can't afford to let that one slip. That would have been the breaker, the equalizer. You could have tucked in and tortoised. Now you can see how much util they've got and G2 get to do what they want. Drop the exec. Gade perhaps could be those prime position to deny. There is only one single Molotov. They've cleared this every round though. It's always a nade and a molly or multiple nades. And MSL's caught Hunter's aggression. Gade is there. Uh oh, peeking ahead. Oh, and it's both. Takes the head off of Nexa. Kenny low from the previous engagement. Just Nico, North, just after the first success in forever. This feels like a broken G2. The amount of rounds that have had been taken from them. Maybe Nico's sick of tired of it. Finds the first of this 1v3. Doesn't have a very large amount of time to make this work as the bomb is scooped up. MSL, though predictable, he's on headshot. Smoke for Nico's progression. One elevator, one headshot. 10. Fake. Here's the steps of Necro. No time for this. Time, but Necro's Deagle headshot confirms it's his round. Damn, North, this is great stuff. I just love how mobile they've been in these mid rounds, whether it's early going for aggression to deny B lobby, the pushes down a ramp, Gade here in transition towards Sandbag in the middle of the round. You also had MSL pushing up towards scaffolding and finding a kill. G2 think the coast is clear, and meanwhile, they're running head on into a North who are looking good. You can see AZ leading the charge with 14. He's tied up there with Gate, also on 14. 10 for Lecro, 9 for MSL, and 7 for Cajun. So North are doing a great job. They're looking good for 10. Their buys are a little bit more hodgepodge than that of G2, who has the five AKs in utility. Oh, and Gade? That's a charge and a half. He's managed to get all of that control. Not a single point of damage done to him. And as the smoke fades, it's a pretty much... Oh, well, <laughs> he doesn't wait for the smoke to fade. Kenny unloads his mag and tags up Gate nicely. This has been always an interesting standoff between the two of them, Nico and Cajun, regularly duking it out here. Cajun does go one for one. Easy. Knows there's a lot of presence, looks to fill the gap. Kenny's luck is gone, and they're both caught with oh, nades in their hands. Great timing. And punish from AZ. Gets shot at by Lecro and eventually concedes 10. That'll do. That'll do nicely. North have 10 coming into the T side of their map pick.
They tell us that we're wrong, we might be This life, it isn't long enough to feel My love for you is strong, I'm fighting you and I I know that we're not sober, but shut up and pull me closer, yeah Holding me still too far away Even when we're older, I promise that I'll still hold you Like we're 17 and we're not afraid of making mistakes Spelling trouble. G2 are in a very sticky situation for the first map of this series. A machine I've got Sponge hanging out with me this evening. This afternoon, I shouldn't say evening yet. It just feels dark because the lights are off. And it probably is dark outside. In about an hour, yeah. I reckon we're probably already plunged into darkness. A little um, PSA for any of you watching at home and struggling or unaware of seasonal affective disorder. When the sun starts setting at 5 p.m., you start feeling more miserable. It's because you're not getting as much vitamin D. If you're not getting 30 minutes of direct sunlight to your skin, take a supplement. Vitamin D, strong recommend. And uh, diagnosis suggests it's actually a strong antidepressant and one of the best supplements you can take. That's the end of my pitch. If you are a vitamin Hello? D company and you want to sponsor us, hit yeah, us up. Yeah, dude, I'm down. All right, well, vitamin D company. <laughs> can you imagine? I don't think they exist, Chad. Well, hello, this is the vitamin D yeah, company. Yeah, we make the, the vitamins. We make the D. Um... <laughs> All right, well, let's focus on this because there's utility out early from north. Clearing off towards sandbags. Need to be diligent against those sneaky, beaky USPs of the silence variety. And now straight onto the site they go. Smoke is good. Deep towards elevator room. Molotov on the boost box. And now Nico and Hunter, they need to hit a couple of crisp headshots. Oh, that's a lot of info for Hunter. He just says, yep. <laughs> Back the way, Lecro tucks in and they got the bomb down. This is what G2 tried and have failed in the past. North now on the T side and starting very strong. Their after plant looks very, very resistant. Look at the nade. They've actually just thrown one all the way into elevator from the ramp side. Nico finally peppers them with one of his own and there's Lecro tucked in on the corner. They have to find him. They do. And frags keep coming. Ne Nico, Nexa, all finding the necessary. And there is a kit on Jax. This is a very late retake, but the pressure's on. Jewels are one. There's one frag remaining. Gate does go down, and so the defuse can come in with just enough time on that clock as well. So nice handling from G2. I felt like they were going to struggle to get the bodies back on the site. And what's this, Chatty? Now, I want to give the context to everybody of where the problems were the other day when G2 were playing. So let's see how they've buttoned it up. You have Nico over towards... Oh, he's just taken off the screen there. Sorry about that. That one is no good. We've got Nico and Hunter. They're the A defense. You want to focus on those two. They had troubles, especially in this area here of short, where I've got that red box. Their timing there is something that you need to actually play and get used to. That's not something that Nico has too much under his, uh, I guess, experience. So let's focus on Nico and Hunter towards A. You've got Kenny in rotation, Jax towards middle, and old boy Nexa holding B. That's the CT setup for G2. Okay, well, the AKs will be dropped across. North want to stay threatening in this one, continuing their four spies. Didn't go so well for them in the first half, but they bounced back after they got into the gun rounds. Four Galils. Isn't that a scary little prospect going up against two MP9s, a UMP, a Famous, and an M4, which has already taken some Look damage. Look at the setup they've gone for here. So Nico will be able to throw the smoke if they molly. And uh, Hunter will maybe even underhand a flashbang over those sandbags for his swing. So let's see if that Molotov comes out. The only one is on Gade, Deagle. Everyone else rocking those Galils. Oh, are they going to use the molly towards sandbag? Are they brave enough? Oh, they're going on contact. That benefits Hunter too. Footsteps made now. Good nade damage this time. Gate hasn't. He's throwing out his Molotov. He's actually going to be prioritizing it towards headshot. So Hunter, look at this. It's a massacre of two. There's way more where that came from. Cajun finds one, but Hunter is not done. 
Just the remaining MSL. Nico does get caught on his peak over the smoke, but Hunter should finish this one off. MSL caught out by the UMP and an upgrade found for the four frags of Hunter. He deserves that one. Punishing not going to the sandbags position. And now the beauty of getting something like that so early, Chad, is you're going to guarantee there's going to be mollies and nades thrown towards sandbags on the A commits. Yeah, and if you're sitting here wondering, why didn't North go for that? Why didn't they clear it? Why weren't they worried about it? It is a position that is a bit more awkward to play against a force buy uh, because if you do lose it and the rifle gets marooned that deep, they can get, get picked up and used against you. And it was only a UMP in this case. And North will just be down to the pistol upgrade here. Four members opting to buy on in. Three P250s and a Deagle. MSL just down to that Glock, and you guys know why. He wants to get that big it's green. Cool that G2 are actually on some of these rounds using two smokes, not only ramp, but on that scaff, just so you really are not going to make any progress up ramp. They can guarantee that as they fade, they don't have to fret, and they can both play ramp side. Having these two, once they post up with rifles, especially if they get AK-47s in their hand, if they can have the initial foray, they can do a bit of utility damage and then just take aim right. jewels, you would expect the Hunter and Nico, this kind of a fight for them is what they want, is what they look for. It's actually tucking into a bit of an interesting I setup. I like the crossfire. Yeah, it means that Nico can swing off of Hunter's contact and vice versa. The only issue is the you can't miss. short walk up. That is a problem. You are right. But here they come. Hunter readies himself. Nico in the feed as well. Pushing in. AZ's the only one to find something. And he's Damage. found both of them. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Won't necessarily aid them in recovery of the bomb plant or the round, but it is significant damage on the A defenders. They get three before being silenced by the Danish Deeg. Flashed off. Swinging in. Could be the end of AZ. Kenny confirms it. g 2 8 Oof. Two kills isn't bad considering the investment right there. What are we looking at? You've got three P250s. That's going to get you a 900 plus the 700. That was a $1,600 investment to take away two players of the G2 squadron. And it was through AZ on the Deagle there. So good impact. But mopped up nicely as G2. Two rounds away now from tying things up. Looks like we will be going the distance here today on map number one. AWP out for Kenny. No AWP for MSL, operating with five rifles. Deep flash from middle there, but maybe that's just a bit of a ruse. We can see that nobody's pushing. Gade's on high alert. He will communicate that and potentially even have to communicate the fact that ladder room could be stolen. So lots of details here from G2 just with one flash. But here's Kenny. Looking for the smallest of gaps. Oof, just dropping off the timing. Fortunate. Gets his first. He gets the, the luxury of falling away without too much uh, sweat on his brow. And then he does tackle Macro down to 88. This is where I start to really wonder about G2's setup. Nico was isolated, same as Hunter, over towards this short position time and time again, where they get caught in no man's land. Nade through, does no damage. Nobody home to receive that one. And North holding onto a truckload of utility at this point. Hunter tries his luck. Also, another nade going amiss. This is where things can get a bit dicey, though. Yeah. If you give North all of that control and they've still got all of their util, this 4v5 disadvantage will be so nullified. If you don't start pushing for info elsewhere, they'll just full exec on you. Bomb will be down, the after plan's awkward. And that's my concern. I'm sure it is the same for G2. That's why Nico at 30 seconds drops a one way. They'll have to expose their legs if he holds the line. They're not actually doing so. They're hoping just deterring them with the smoke, but that's thrown out North's utility. And here they come. The boost is powerful, but he won't get any info initially, and they're going for the safe plan, I believe. You can see Hunter's pre-aiming it. He wants to punish that. Quite the angle he's got. Yeah. Can he stop it? No, the flashes are good enough. Gade gets it down. Hoping as the smokes fade, he'll have a bit of an element of surprise, but it's a five versus three. Do they have it? Lecro taking a bit of a beating. Nico finishes off what he started. Just Gade and Cajun now, and they're closing the gap fast. Smokes will be deployed. Kits are present. And onto the defuse. It's a fake. They're just hoping to draw out the confirmation as to their location. Now holding. Kenny's on it. Jax with a MP9 and two more seconds. That'll be the round. And all the frags do come their way. Now, you talked about AKs on those A holders. Well, Hunter's picked himself up one. I wonder if Nexus is going to throw his or keep hold of it for himself. Definitely no slouch, but 21 frags at the moment. Highest fragger, Nico. 112 ADR as well. Taking a look down the other list. Cajun's definitely woken up and, and caught up. At least an ADR, everyone's floating around 70, so 
sure there'll be no complaints there, but that was a very solid retake from G2, just using that numbers advantage and extending it throughout. Well, the question was, how was Nico going to fare on Vertigo? A newer map for him, if you missed the pregame, we spoke that he's only had eight official maps on that his entire career. He even said his lowest rated of, of all time that we could find was on that map. Yeah, and so he's actually off to a bit of a mad one here. 20 kills so far on Vertigo, 21. What's he you. fancy now? Look, we haven't seen this situation for Nico before. He loses his teammate early, and he's got two others rotating in to support. Do they want to go for a reaggress, or do they just have to swallow their pride? Jack seems to be postured for a reaggression. A flash from Nico could be do the trick. It's about timing, though. They're going B. And Kenny's yet to be truly tested. Look at this. Look how passive he's being. He's, he's checking not only middle, but B on that cross. Oh, you tell. Kenny readies himself. Evades the flash and finds the first. as form more advancing towards his position. Tucked in, oh. finds another on the cross, just a slither gap held, and Kenny advancing, hunting, and he's got oh. himself another one. Kenny, yes, finish it off with style. Quick 3K, Legro and AZ into B, and they've got time to make a round out of this. They don't necessarily have the bomb down. AZ's floating above it, but that's solid work from Kenny. What more could you ask of the B defender than a triple kill before he goes down? Necro caught in middle on the rotation. AZ, though, does get the bomb down, so at least North lining their pockets with a little more gold. There's another smoke here as well. We can make a round of this. I love the flash. They're all gonna catch oh! it they line up. ac has got 19 HP, he peeks into Jax, saving the day. Whew, by a Nat's wing though, that one got very close for comfort. Great attempt there from AZ. Took the fight to them, almost pulled Flash up. Flash though, like around. no one was looking, I, like they're looking left, they're looking right, they're not looking up. Just underhand that one over top of the Jenny there. Make things real interesting. This second shot, look at the little gap. It's a hard one, quick reactions, and then finding basically the nail in the coffin that was Gade. Lovely stuff, Nexo rotating in, still paranoid about the lurk of middle. Easy, good, valiant attempt. You can see what he's gone for there, because if they want to push in, it's unlikely they go through that smoke. So all corralled to one side, and he's almost pulled off a bit of a miracle round there. Not to be the case, the plant is good. He's done damage, got the bomb down, facilitated another buy, and kept G2 on us. So great impact from AZ, but we get back underway. 10-10, more aggression early over towards A. Molotov smokes holding them at bay. And Nico, this nade, we've seen it thrown a bunch of times, yet to really land. This would be the perfect Hunter, moment. you are playing with fire, young man. Baited in a bit by Nico's trajectory. Shadow and the shot. Hunter can back away now, happy as can be. The nade even does more damage, softening up two of them, making those M4 headshots more lethal. Go on, Kenny. Oh, wow. That works out nicely, just on the walk up from Lecro. Aided him into that Yeah, too. he did, didn't he? Go for the wall bang, straight into the peak. Kenny, it's as quick as you like. Nice little one-two combo. Now, this is very difficult for North. 3v5, still have decent utility to work with. Clear intention over towards A, as you can see Cajun watching the back lines. They haven't gone for early misdirection towards B. They haven't applied that much pressure towards middle. They've just been heading over towards A and maybe trying to punish that setup of G2. We highlighted it. Maybe they saw the same thing in their demos. But standing tall this time, G2 looking good for 11. Yeah, I mean, Kenny definitely hitting some very important shots just to keep that num numbers advantage. And it does seem like they are advancing. Kenny evades the flashes and he's just collecting frags. Now he uses their smoke against them to disappear. AZ wants to get his smoke down and Cajun's head is visible. Shot. That's a crucial one from Cajun. Oh no! And Kenny's just taking down his teammate. Not like this. That? Not a five versus two. Not with a team kill. Nade trying to knock him off the plant. There isn't two though. Cajun will get away to short and look at that. Jax has gone down. AZ using the elevated position. This would be a real game changer. Kenny has said he was having impact. They've got smoke, they've got kit. Too short. Got to communicate, got to be proactive here. So smoke is directly onto the bomb and they're hoping that will spur them forward. Kenny's going for a hunt and this is important. Oh no, Kenny S. He's missed his shot. Nexa bails him out, but he's just caught back it away and Nexa digs him out of trouble. Get on the bomb. He picks up the kit in time and G2 with just an 11th round. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be happy or just relieved after that one. Nearly losing a two versus five. Four, perhaps I should correct myself, but regardless. It felt really dicey there. You'd feel like G2 are the ones who should be taking the time out after that, man. Yeesh, look how it started, so well. man. Kenny's, look, he got so many great frags into this round. 
Even the Bait team kill probably a great Even one. Even the team kill probably <laughs> a sick flick, yeah. I was just looking at, back at it on Skybox there. They both pivoted out from the sniper deck on the lower level, and Kenny's just put a bullet in the back of him. So, yeah, I'd be smiling. I'd probably be giggling about that one because you have almost given you, up the lead. Have you ever used the game instructor toggle bind to find the bomb and smokes? No. No. I think that might be one we have to add to our repertoire. because that's a bit saucy by the sounds of things. Yeah, you just basically have a button that turns on the, you know, because it gives you the beginner tips. This it says, defuse the, the bomb, bomb, and it points directly at it when it's in the smoke. That's a curious So I get right using it on his stream, and I'm like, that is pretty pretty spicy. Yeah, I've, I've got the radar making it bigger and smaller behind the left uh, left hand, right hand, yeah. the full screen cross there. Maybe that's Not the next swapping one. the left and right, are you? I do, yeah. Oh, Depending you, on the angles I'm holding you know. and stuff. You don't want to miss them. Yeah, you I never get want it. To miss a I get it, but I don't want more buttons to press. All right, well. North, again, threatening still. Just one more round required, and they might send G2's money down to the doldrums. Those early smokes dissuading the aggression one more time, but Lecro, he's going to disrespect that. Crawling on up, creeping on towards the crane position. There's a couple of players behind him to help trade, but we can see that G2 are a little bit more passive this time round. Early utility That's comes out. Perfect out. nade or molly. And they're trying to segregate and do damage here. The nades landed right in his face. The yep. Molotov pushes them further back. Do they want to aggress on this, or are they more than happy just to get the damage? Nico's having a quizzical look. It's flowing with the idea of a sandbags play. I like it. They've even got more U2. If they keep walking up, this could be a really nice double punch. Oh, oh look at that. Lacro and AZ, the walking wounded. Nico is going to get Molotov out. Can you smoke it? Yes, you can. Can I win it? <laughs> ah, that's oh, a they showed the toes. That's oh, a problem. Hadn't seen that. Wasn't aware those wooden pallets can really make you look like a fool. He's so low, Nico, Nico gets away. Lecro, there's the R, is down to four. But I can't believe it. They have managed to deter them from A. Yeah, and now as soon as that smoke clears, Nico will likely take a bit of a jiggle. They've right. rotated heavily over towards A, but as soon as Nico Nine peers seconds, up and calls Drop us a clear. smoke, will you, Kenny? Drop us a smoke, slow him down. Oh, they're, they're executing on him. Flashes, mollies, it's a sudden explosion. And already the frags go one for one. Can't hit the second. Nexa can, he gets the double. Lecro's so low from the early engagements from those A defenders, but Gate getting the bomb down is step one. Hunter sneaks around and does take Lecro down. Now just one man is Gate finding two. What an incredible transfer. Two heads and he separates them both. Now he can play the time. 11 HP, both of them disastrously low. There's a molly for the bomb as well. He could just jiggle on the stairs and throw that. Nika has no smoke. Oh, look at the position he's gone for. That is very spicy. As long as he doesn't show his barrel, I think Gade's on for the 1v3 here. Does he call the bluff? He peeks. Nico, did you spot it? He oh! did! And he's on the bomb in time. Gade, another valiant effort. We've had a lot of close, a lot of if, buts, and maybes, but G2, they convert it. The pivot into B was fast. It was vicious. Kenny died with all of his util on his back. And that's 12 now to the 10 of North. Big stuff here from Nico. Now, once again, this is only the ninth time he has played this map in his professional career, and he's now tied his second highest amount of frags on Vertigo. That was a game Ooh. against Renegades. They lost as FaZe Clan, 16 to 14. Nico had 22 kills. He's got 22 here, and a big clutch just to keep them in it. Through the boards, simple as you like. 12 to 10 now. North are going to use their last tactical timeout, and we said for North, Vertigo, it's a must in this series. We move on to Dust2 next. You get some Nico AK-47. You get some Hunter AK-47. You get some Jack's aim over towards Long. Dust2 is going to be a scary prospect when we get to map number two. I didn't even mention the Kenny S AWP. Lots to talk through here for North, and there's Jumpy, the coach. He's actually not doing any of the talking right now. Yeah, the quiet observation. So many bomb plants out of this T-Half from North. I was just taking a look oh. at the round recap. We've had successful defuses in whoa, five of the seven. What's, what's the face? Necro just got knifed by a teammate there. Okay. It was only a little slash, but not ideal. Definitely not ideal. So they've made early steps on the A bridge. They've thrown a little bit of A utility, but I think they, no liked, B. they really liked the pace of that fast B, and you're bang on, Chad. It's completely unguarded. They're going to contact B, and the only sign they're going to have is going to be the initial flashbang. When does it... Here, it, here we go. Look at those mollies. Oh, they're going to completely lay the floor with flame. They forced them off the line as they push. That's a perfect Molotov. Caught in transition was Nexa, and B is theirs. That works out dreamy. They might have to save. This they is so to. early. It's so perfect. Flashes. Now all of that util can be invested. It was limited as it was. Hunter's gone down. It's a great call. Gade's caught Hunter's rotate. Yeah, the save has to be made north. That 
is a complete change of pace. What a way to find your first tee round. Oh, wow. G2 gambled, and they gambled incorrectly. They played a heavy mid-presence right there with Nexa and Jax both being caretakers, and by doing so, they left a door wide open north with full commitment, going in almost blind. There's no way you could know that the bomb site was open. I think they just wanted to swarm Kenny S with the AWP. He was on the other side of the map this time round, but regardless, they're in. They found a lot of impact. They forced G2 to save, and that's going to be 11, nipping at the heels of G2 now. North have found a weakness. So they want to keep the pressure on towards that B bomb site because time and time again, it has been close and they finally broken through. Their buy is looking good where G2, they have some conversations. Nico can drop across a rifle. Kenny could do the same. Means they'll be a little bit lower on utility, but Hunter and Nexa, they'd be very, very thankful for that. And that's what's happening. Nico's dropped one. Should see him purchasing him for himself. Kenny likely to do the same. And G2 are going to use their third tactical timeout just to make sure everybody has the right weapons required going into the next round of play. That streak has been broken, but one of the keys here, and you were just pointing that out, is all of those diffusers. The bomb going down time and time again from North has meant they can continue to be threatening, continue to keep the pressure on G2. And now as we get to the business end of map number one, still anybody's game. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. At least G2 have proven that their CT woes have been less prominent here although it's a bit those, shaky hasn't it, it has yeah certainly i would love it if north just bite down and go for it again just double down i mean i don't hate it it's, un it's unlikely it'll be completely unmanned this time they might want to be pushing for info early i wonder if we get something similar to the end of the north stance where they went for some early b steps to control Jack's going to be dropping the molly, but it's a very different look. In fact, it's something quick towards A. Kenny will have a look, and the flashes are perfect. You can see how that denies and keeps MSL safe on his cross. There's some of the gaps towards mid. Gade might be able to exploit that. MSL does well there to avoid that nade. Here's it getting pinged off the wall. Uses the smoke to guise his aggression. Now a Molotov towards Sandbag. Utility being thrown out from both teams here. Just trying to jostle for position, work out who's home and who's where. As it looks like G2 have already tucked themselves back into the site for more of a retake setup. And this is where they have problems. That short position can be exploited. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, on a bit of an expedition, Nexa and Jax, they're looking for info. They're going to be so far away on this rotation if the A hit comes in. Smokes and mollies. That's the short getting exploited. Yeah, so exploited. Look, you got to check it. They're already up. AZ in. MSL2. They just charge up short. And that... As you highlighted, has been ran through. Looks like Hunter's Frag has made it competitive at least. The flank is late. Two of them walking from B all the way into the Lecro check. He hasn't had a look just yet. Knife out now. He spots one. Jax is walking up as well. Nexa takes the frag. Maybe they've got a shot here despite the push up. To live. He's holding it. He journey gets the shadow and he fires perfectly. One more to go and it's done. G2 retake the A site despite some shortcomings. It's Hunter's 3K that puts North back on their bottom, and that is going to continue to be the only round to be North's one for North on this T side, and G2 finding themselves their 13th. Well, a plant again, and the money, it's actually still decent for North, still very, very good. You can see how dicey this one got. If Hunter goes down there, CT spawn control is taken, and then the retake, ooh, it becomes very difficult. That double flank, well-timed. Lekker hits one of those shots. That's probably the round there for North. And again, they buy back in. Both teams fully equipped. Kenny still with the AWP. Rifles are plenty. Diffuse kits, five on the board. Everyone has mollies. Back towards A we go. All right, charge on. What is Hunter up to? He's been fully flashed. He continued through the smoke, just going down. Nico, a crucial headshot. Does he really want to push the issue? He does. Doesn't quite catch the timing. AZ's progressed. Kenny's filled the short gap. He'll be mollied out of that position. There's no way AZ will pick that dry left eye peek into an AWPA. I love that nade. It's easy to evade with the sound cue. Kenny's still pushing the issue. This is needed. Yeah, he could find one. Trying to catch him. Sleeping! A hard miss. And now pressure onto A. Nico standing his ground. They'll likely throw more util for this. But he does find the duel and MSL wins it. Great stuff into the site now. North have a huge advantage. They can't afford to let this one slip. And they need to deny. They need to. AZ's already got it down. Does it brought down a little lower. Have to save again. Look at the money. Look at the bank balance for G2. Going for this could be an absolute disaster. 
still operating towards the bottom end of the loss bonus. They're not getting a massive influx of cash in the next round. They need to hold on to something, and it looks like they will. All four members of North have their feet planted on the A bomb site. Another round, and they've broken through again. You can just see how janky it is over towards short. Every time the ramp control has been given up from G2, North have been able to make a round of it. They've been able to get into the site. And Hunter there had no support. He was all in, hoping the flashes were good enough to give him some territory. That was not the case. Didn't even look like many of the North players were flashed there, get a freebie. We take that every day of the week as now the scoreline 13 to 12. North are clawing back in and the money situation, while it's been highlighted, is a problem. Nexa and Jax can both drop rifles. It means that one of the three, Kenny, Hunter or Nico, will be operating with very little or they can take the save and just operate with these two rifles. 1,900 in the next round. It's not going to be enough. I feel, I feel like they have to buy, but they haven't taken the time out. They're just going into this with the two save rifles, hoping they can make the best of it, hoping they can outread North, have the correct bomb site stack. Look at the aggression. AZ spotted that. Lecro oh, finishes it off. Yes, but they do continue to push the issue. That spray from AZ actually converts onto Nico as well. Mad control. It was AD spamming as well. It's an unarmored M4 then for Kenny. He's hoping he can delay. And Hunter only has a USP. This is perfect for North right now to convert and tie things up 13-13. Kenny would need to be right place, right time with a multi to make a round out of this. And it looks like he's rotating back over towards A. North with all this utility. Look at this. Gade, AZ and MS are all with full kits. Smokes, mollies and flashes. They can be so diligent about this. Deep smokes, mollies to clear out quad and the sight boxes. Kenny's actually rotated back over. He might get here just in time, but the lack of armor, what's he going to do? Yeah, I don't know, man. Flashed, swung on, and eliminated. Hunter's found himself an AK. He might to the feet here. Very close to finding Gade there. Look at this. Seen him now. Yeah. They're telling him that's his toes. Oh, it's a hard shot. Got to find the head shot. <laughs> Can't believe he's not pulling the trigger. What's he waiting for? This is the save. Is he trying to ninja? Go up behind him. He won't get in for the defuse. There <laughs> no, is a kit, but there's no time. Maybe he gets more. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he gets found out eventually. Azy's probably wondering what the hell just happened. He's been stared at for so long. He doesn't get the frag in the end. Yeah, but look, if he just had one kill and still went down, he would have had at least 4K. Now he only has 3.7. So trying to be an absolute hero in the late stages, he now has to operate with very little. So Hunter not considering his own bank balance here and what it would mean, looking for the greater good. And by doing so, he dies. Oh my goodness. There's real drama actually apparently going down in the streamer world, Chad. You need to know about this. Oh no. XQC yeah. has been accused of stream sniping in a Fall Guys event. Oh no. Shroud says he's lost all respect. That's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, I just want to keep you, you know, the finger on the pulse of that breaking news. Four guys. Four guys, stream sniping, Shroud, obviously, uh, ex Counter Strike professional now. I'm so glad I'm not a gamer and just a Counter Strike. Yeah, guy. Is it, it's nice, isn't it? Okay. Well. Grabbed me on the roundabout before the rainbow trickle. How would he have known? Oh. All right, Pixies and Wizards aside, we're talking about guns. Guns, man, testosterone. <laughs> Folks aside, Kenny wants info, and he's going to get more than info if he peeks this. Come on, man. That's risky business. He gets MSL and gets away. A lovely chip away at the North statue. He's even going for wall bangs. Call your jets, Kenny. Mission accomplished. Leader down. Breaking point of vertigo here. You can see, look at the CTs. Yeah. There's still 60 seconds of play. I just stole your point, Chad. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's the main point of the round. It's this A bomb site. They can't play forward because they get taken down. They can't play in limbo. That's why Kenny went for the fight, right? He had to had give him to. something. And now they're working with a number advantage, but still, for some reason, yep. more, feel more threatening. Always. On these T-Executes, they've definitely got it all refined and ironed out. Nico having a great Vertigo performance, though. I will remind you, he's been statistically struggling on this one and very few on record. The mollies are great. Look at North. They've completely locked down any potential CT positions. Nico cannot repick this. Only Lazy dare. with the cusp of the smoke would take his head off. What are you going to retake it's just with? Just going to hold the push, and they resmoke as well. Oh, they don't have a kit, Alex. Yikes from me, D O double G. They need to find all four kills before they can even consider defusing. Oh lord, here we go, and they're, they're fighting them. They look to stand and fight around short, around sight box. One for one. Jack revealed. He hits the shots Itch. necessary. So does Kenny, doubling up. They know where Cajun is. He's low. 
Need to be holding a 10 second defuse. Nico oh. cannot afford to miss, he hits it. The crucial headshot found and G2 weather the storm. Just about by the skin of their teeth, it's down to a two on one. 14 found, G2 do weather it with very little util and take a look at the round recap if we can, if you'll be so kind, you'll see how many times they've had to defuse that, this time without the kit. North are having no issues. You can see they've had a refined T side to the point where they can get into sites whenever they please. Look at this. I, I haven't seen so many bomb plants, or at least conversions in the CT side off of a bomb plant in some time. Like North have been doing half of the hard work and just not and struggling on the conversion. Yeah, Jax was a massive hero there in that retake as well with the double. North are still threatening. Look at the North bank balance. This is absurd. Yeah, they keep they going, came, One of their players came into this with 11K. And they just have so much cash to work with. While G2, they have to cobble this now, together. Hunter this is on interesting. A UMP again. Check this out. Could be worked, right? Yeah. The XX worked. North probably going to give it another go. Nexus come to rotate in to drop utility as soon as they start to pop theirs. It's open. Oh no, Nexus, you're so exposed. He does get his incendiary down, but he's swinging all the same. He needs more. He needs a lot more. AZ swinging. The flames do guise him a little. Maybe. Oh, Vision is restored, but AZ adjusts in time. Hunter's only got a UMP, and AZ is the hero for North. He's got 30 frags, and AZ popping off. Triple kill, round one. B works for the North players again, and that's going to put, I think, their fourth. Yeah, fourth T round on the board now. They've been so threatening. That's like, you see how fast that was. It went from nothing to everything and I flashed off Nexa. Oh, and Gade wants more. The hunt is on. Kenny, where are you going to save this? You can't go back towards A. 1400 loss bonus, down. Chad. They're in the bin right now, G2. Kenny has nothing. to hold on to this. He needs to keep this AWP. The only avenue to escape right now is through middle, but that's quickly being taken away. Look at the hunt. North can risk this. They have the bank balance. They can start pushing out. I think the other room's a really solid play. Are they going to poke their head up? Oh, they've gone the wrong way. They're hunting in the wrong area. Kenny's got away with this. Safe as houses. Wait, come on, AZ. I thought he was going to push on in. So that's something. And North will be happy to convert with a clean round as well. They got money for the rest of the half, as Chad's outlined already, and quite the opposite state of affairs for G2. Thank you, AZ. What a delivery from him. Where do you put Kenny, though? If you risk it and put him over towards B, I mean, and they decide to go for one of their A plays, you have Skittles. You got absolutely nothing over towards A to defend this. G2 at this stage of the game, I think they have one timeout left, but they're not even taking it to talk through their options. They're not investing. Ah, oh, there it is. It had to come through. The final timeout now. Both teams using all four. Do you force around the AWP? Well, it's only 1900 next round. I mean, it's regardless, they're working with very, very little. This is the worst place to see two anti egos to finish off your game. This is a rubbish position to be in. You feel horrible. You know you can't buy in. You know that you're not going to have anything potent. It needs to be heroics. And Kenny on the AWP, all eyes are on him. Yeah, he knows it though. That's kind of where he thrives. He's liked it in the past. Transitioning into more of a team-based player, it's always been a balance. He's trying to strike an equilibrium between stardom and team-based Counter-Strike. So the timeout has elapsed. It seems that Kenny will have to be the hero, a Kevlar vest and an AWP. North have been very diligent with their utility, with their T side, although it hasn't always converted. You've seen some great retakes out of the G2 side. They are going for the full eco. Giving them 15. Giving them practically 15, unless Kenny S, they sent him to B. The it will call. be the A take. All right, Jax, you want the spot in the team? Right yeah, now, it'd be a great round to get yourself a couple of Deagle headshots. Let's see what you got. Fully bought up. Eco around a save door. North cannot let this slip. A boost ain't bad idea. He's calling for it. Sprays are going to hurt, though. Yep. Look at all that. That hurts. Hunter even burning out. and combined with the wall bangs. Hazy's having a game. Yeah. He's having a real big game. MSL into the site. That's one from Nexa. And it does put a weapon in his hand temporarily. AZ. Oh, no. no, Kenny. We need more from you. He's dived into Elevator. Very aggressive. Kenny, maybe not ready for this. And destruction. He's heading towards 40. AZ's had a real resurgence into the T side. Late stages. Look at him go. He's on for 40 frags. Bloody hell. Look at how much money G2 are operating with as well, just around that 4K mark or under. Get out of here. And he knew if they take this AWP away, that is one of the threats completely dealt with. And Kenny gets there to try and help, but as soon as those early kills went down on short, he should have been nowhere near that bomb site. You've seen North Utel as well. Like, you can't be headshot, you can't be snipers. You've got to fight them at short. That's mollied off as well. If you don't control that ramp aggression, you just get executed on, and it's strong enough to, to work every time. So this is what they were saving for. They're playing into the OT here. It's a crucial round of play for Hunter Ooh, and Nico's UMPs. SMG A hold. That is, oh my God, how are they going to make this work? Utility has been prioritized. They're not dropping it out early, but that's been limped on through. 
at 1.30. Nobody home towards Scaf North, waiting for G2 to make a mistake, and they're the ones who have to take the risk. They love dropping that util. They keep just... It's barely done any damage. It hasn't uh, significantly less than you've seen from more well-drilled and taking sound cues, taking info, then dropping that util. There we go. Some more promising nade towards AZ's position, but they keep... Oh, no. Oh, and they flubbed it as well. Themselves. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, they're sketched out here. Sketched out very much so. They've jumped all of their util already, and MSL starts his prowl. There's no warp to hold him. You put your head in the vice here if you peek him, and Kenny is jiggling intermediately. Okay. Barrel spotted. He knows Kenny's on the site as well. Hunter's already been sent low. The smoke's starting to drop. Kenny tucking in. Hunters, what are you supposed to do with an SMG in that position? Oh, Nico losing his duel. It looks like North can do it. Oh, that's Kenny. heroics. Two of them line up. Kenny seizes an advantage out of the moments before defeat. They need to get the bomb down. Smokes are fading. Gay drops his and starts the default plan. They got incendiary. I don't know if he can stop it. It's bad. He gets away with the bomb plant. And now AZ can smoke off elevator if he desires. It's a good time to do it. No kid again. Next is dropping his util for the retake. AZ tagged up, 50 HP. Nexa and Jax have health, they don't have kits. They're gonna have to go for some big bursts of energy on a flashbang. That's the flash. They turn and they push so low. Kenny trying to find more impact. He's already found the heroic double. That's Jax with one to remain. All onto Jax, he just doesn't have time for this. He's gonna get played with. He's hunting him down. He's a clean headshot. Cajun's jiggled that the AK could be better, but no time. A 16-14 played out to perfection by Cajun. AZ pulling them across the line with blood.